हे एवरी वन वेलकम बैक ऑन द चैनल वेलकम बैक टू अ काइंड ऑफ अननेसेसरी वीडियो बट आई थिंक इट विल स्टिल हेल्प मे बी सम पीपल एज यू गाइज हैव ऑलरेडी रीड इट फ्रॉम द टाइटल दैट दिस वीडियो टॉपिक इज अबाउट हाउ टू सेव पावर स्लैश वाट इज वाइल गेमिंग ऑन योर पी सी एंड लैपटॉप नाउ वाई एम मेकिंग दिस वीडियो नॉट एवरी वन हैज़ एक्सेस टू अनलिमिटेड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी फॉर सपोज द A state which I live in India, West Bengal, has the highest rate of electricity in the whole country, like thirty to forty percent higher than other state. Also, if you are living in maybe some kind of paying guest or rental house, the electricity charges are probably little bit higher than usual. Uh, along with that, if you are uh, playing on inverter, I mean, if you are running on an inverter, but if you still want to play games, maybe on low FPS, you can still try this tutorial. and lastly but not least uh, laptop gamers who is running on battery can use this tutorial to save some power and play for a little longer time so yeah anyway let's uh, start the video without any delay now on, today we are testing it on death stranding uh, i have uh, started the game already and if you look closely at the core clock of my uh, graphics card it's running around uh, 1950 megahertz on the core and 7000 on the memory clock now what you need to notice is the power usage my card's power uh, tdp is 150 watts tdp and right now it's running around 120 to 130 watt so what we're going to do is we're going to reduce the power usage to as low as we can along with a little bit uh, lower fps for suppose it's right now running on 144 fps the game is running at 144 fps so what we will do we will uh, lock the game's fps to 60 and uh, we will reduce the power usage with the help of ms afterburner and along with that we will use fsr 3 frame generation to get some more fps so yeah uh, first we gonna start the ms afterburner now you will be needing this skin if you want to copy my exact settings and everything so if you want to set this skin you can just go to your uh, setting button your setting button will be somewhere here in the default skin of ms afterburner uh you can download ms afterburner from the link in the description so you need to click on setting then go to the user interface here and select uh, this list and select the third one from the bottom so select this msi touch up modern afterburner then click on apply maybe afterburner will restart one time then click on okay now in here what you will see uh, many kind of graph and uh, what do you say leveler and everything so what you need to do first you need to reduce the power usage or uh, power limit of the card by some margin so i'm setting it on 80% of the usage after that uh, we need to click on the core clock uh, this graph core clock graph so if you click a uh, new kind of uh, what do you say screen will open up here so don't get confused let me just explain it a bit by bit this is the voltage curve this is the core clock curve as the voltage gets higher the core clock gets higher but we are not going to overclock it we are going to undervolt it so we are going to use as little as possible uh, if you have an nvidia card most cards can do maybe 1500 1600 at the what do you say minimum uh, medium to uh, below range so i'm going to use this card on 1500 i will write down some amd graphics card so you can see maybe on your screen right now as we speak so yeah first we will come here and we will see the 1500 core clock here so what we going to do we select a little bit uh, lower voltage because uh, wait i will show you one thing uh, when i run the game you can see this dotted line is reaching to this mark this dotted line is the current state which the graphics card is running at so you can see the graphics card is running at uh, right now uh, near 2000 megahertz at, at this voltage like this is the joint point like this is where the core clock and the voltage cross so it's running on 1050 millivolts but we are going to reduce it to 720 or 750 millivolt now not every card can do this low my card silicon is i have to say pretty much good uh, that's why i can use it at this low but you can try like 800 850 or uh, 870 even that will also save you some power but my card has a little bit good silicon so i will set it on 750 so what we need to do uh, we need to keep the mouse in the 750 line and then Uh, hold left shift and left click 
and drag the mouse to the right now after completing this you may leave the left shift and the uh, left click now after that you can you have to select any point in between just select any point in between this uh, and that uh, and after that uh, hold left shift and press enter you will need to enter a value here so i'm just going to set it on 1500 because we want to undervolt it and press enter now what it will do the card will when the card hits 750 millivolt it will run the graphics card at 1500 megahertz stable so what we now the power will be very much reduced so we're going to close it and we need to apply it so to apply we're gonna go to the ms afterburner again and we're gonna click on apply and now uh, we have lost some of the performance as you guys know already we have reduced the core clock to gain some margin of performance we will need to overclock the memory clock so most of the nvidia cards can do 600 to 800 uh, megahertz uh, very easily but my card as i said <laughs> already that it has a little bit good silicon quality so i will do 900 megahertz uh, and hit enter and click on apply now everything has set in ms afterburner now i will show you some in-game settings how you can reduce uh, frame rate so i will switch to the game now now you can check that uh, the fps is still around the same 140 watt but look at the power draw of the gpu it has reduced so much like it was around 120 to 30 and now it's around only 70 uh yeah 70 to 75 watts or something but we will still go below that so to do that we will limit the game's uh, frame rate first graphics and we will lock the game's frame rate to 60 fps because 60 is still playable for this kind of single player games you won't get very much bothered uh, with the fps uh, now you can see wait i think i already have frame generation enabled that was not <laughs> meant so yeah anyway i have limited the uh, fps to 60 and now you can see it has reduced a little bit even more than uh what is a 56 watt around 56 watt we will go even more below that yeah to do that uh, but the frame rate will be the same to do that uh, i have installed the fsr 3 frame generation in this game and we will take a help from that so if you have not installed the fsr 3 frame generation in death stranding you can install it from it from the i button here so we will go to system option uh, graphics again and i will limit the frame rate to 30 and then i will use the fsr 3 frame generation to get up to the 60 fps so i'm going to press the insert key on the keyboard uh, which is the default for the frame generation and now i will use the frame generation along with the hot fix which is uh, needed for this game and then i will close and now you can see the uh, fps is hitting 60 and the power draw oh, all right the power draw is a little bit uh, almost the same 50 watt but oh that's why because i'm recording because uh when i don't record i will put put some uh what do you say a screenshot on your screen that uh when i'm not recording uh the system is taking only 40 watt or similar uh on 60 fps with the frame generation so yeah frame generation is kind of mixed thing like you will get a Mm, mixed kind of uh, result so if you even if you don't use the frame generation you can use the only games frame rate limiter and set it to 60 fps and your power draw will be uh, very much lower uh, so we have dropped from 120 to 30 30 watt to only 56 watt and while not recording it will drop even below to 40 watt or something so that's like uh, three times less the power draw and uh, yeah the, now your uh, computer will be heated very low so as you can see my gpu temperature it's only around 50 degrees celsius and i'm playing the game on 60 fps still i know if your graphics card has uh what do you say lower power like uh, for suppose if you have a low end graphics card 1050 or 1650 your power draw will be even lower but your fps will be even a little bit worse but you get the basic idea it will vary from user to user gpu to gpu but this is the main uh what do you say main part of the tutorial uh you will have to bear with your system result uh, not every pc can do uh, 60 fps on uh, 30 watt or 40 watt you will have to keep that in mind so yeah this will be it for this video now i will uh, end the recording it's it has uh, gone a little bit longer than usual and if this video helps you consider subscribing to the channel uh, you can 
join discord for more upcoming mods and videos and everything and i'll see you guys in the next one so yeah until then cheers